Oh man, coach, I got I got to ask this question. Then we're gonna transition. We about to be done. I probably I got to ask this question. I I was because I was looking at it and and as you kept talking about building bridges, as you kept talking about teaching, as you kept talking about relationships, and I want to bounce back to last chance you just for a second. There, there was a point in the series where I had to take a double take on it. I was like, did he really? Is that? There was a point in the series where Shamar mm. came and and stayed with you. Yep. What like what what in your mind told you that 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 this is a good idea? <laughs> hey, one Shamar has a good heart and he's a good kid. And he is the poster child for everything that was wrong in the last 10 years of travel basketball and rankings. And, and, um, man, he's that kid there, bro. I mean, he's lived place to place since he was in seventh grade because he was good at basketball. And Shamar, Shamar is homeless. First of all, Shamar is homeless. Like when he showed up, he had nowhere to live and he didn't graduate high school. So he didn't get, he didn't get a Pell Grant or anything. But the fool can hoop. He's 6'5 and he can hoop. And so because he can play, everybody keeps taking this chance on him. Or they'll they'll work with him. But then the moment they figure out, like, he's not going to Duke or he's not going to be a lottery pick, like, they don't mess with him as much. Because when you first start working with him, you're like, this fool's going to the NBA. Oh, my goodness. We talk about talented. Shamar ain't no joke. That fool is talented. But... With us, with us, it became about something completely different and it had absolutely nothing to do with basketball. And that particular time on the show when he um, when 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 he came home with me, specifically, the reason why he came home with me is because the kid hadn't done laundry in weeks. In weeks. And so I was like, come on, man, we're going to the crib to do laundry. And it just turned in and he just ended up staying like for the night and that. But I was like, oh, we're gonna, like he, he hadn't done laundry. I think even the thing I'm like, dude, how many pairs of underwear you got? Like, I'm trying to figure this out. Like, like, well, you know, the, the brother is homeless and he, he's just out there living off his basketball ability, whatever he can get. That's, that's what he was doing. And so the whole thing with Shamar was trying to get the 22 hours of the day, right. That had nothing to do with basketball. That's the whole thing with Shamar. And that was my mindset with Shamar. Even now, as, as I'm coaching that fool up to try and get him to finish up this GED. Cause I, I mean, I was just on the phone with him a week ago, trying to, trying to, trying to get that. Um, so it's, uh, uh, we all have a heart for Shamar, but when you're treated like that as a basketball prodigy, like you're delusional as to what hoops is, what life is, how it works. And so then when you're, when you're faced with the realities of real basketball, that brother struggled because it just wasn't a pickup game where you can be six, five with a 40 inch vertical. And that, that, that was tough for him that you can't just, no, you're going to have to do your schoolwork. You got to go to class. Like that was like, that was a struggle. Like, like, no, no, you can't smoke weed before the game. Like I know you can in your AAU circuit and your prep school and on the, on, on, and when you're playing your pickup ball, but yo, no, nah, that's not going to work. Like in, and how you think life works, it doesn't work that way. And so it was it was getting Shamar right. Incredible kid, though. He can get it right, though. Because, I mean, he's not dumb by any means. He can do his work. He works hard. Like, you put any kind of effort into Shamar, that dude works his behind off. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's a good kid, man. If he can get it together, he'll, he'll help a program down the road, special scholarship program. Um, but that's why I had him there that day. For, that specifically, it was for his laundry. Because I looked at his locker and his locker, I'm looking over as he opened up his locker and he opened it up and I mean, it looked like the lost and found at, at like, at like, at, like at, at, at a locker room. That's what it looked like. It was just random. I'm like, where do you even get these clothes? It was like lost and found. And I'm like, yo man, pack your stuff up. Come on, let's go do some laundry. Like we're going to do some laundry. But over the course of that laundry, all right, I'm able to make an impact doing something saying something else and that was my bridge that day to get to him like let's do the laundry because if i was like hey come on let's talk about this he'd been like uh okay you know hey hey, we need to talk about this aspect of your life he'd have been like yeah okay he'd listen but he wouldn't have been listening but 
the moment I was like, hey, man, once the laundry was in the dryer, he's, he's listening to me. He, he's there. He's locked in. So the laundry helped me that day. Man. Fair enough. Fair enough. And that's funny because I think about it now. My locker wasn't, I, I, I just used to bring extra shoes, extra clothes, and like it was just in the locker and I just leave it. And then some of it would just stay and then it would get stacked up. So that, 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 that makes sense. That, that, that really, that really, that really makes sense though. He had it in that locker at the time, bro. It was all there. It was all there and all of it was random and none of it matched. So I was like, all right, bro, we got to get this together. Yeah, we, we, we got to get this together. Oh man. Shout out to him with, with the most colorful tights I've ever seen, but shout, oh, shout out to him. Cause I, I like, I like the tights that he has. <laughs> Bad, man, he used to wear the craziest. I told you it was just random. Like, where'd you even get that? You know what I mean? Like, where you, where you find that? You know, nothing, nothing went together. Like, nothing went together. Like, where you just find all that stuff, bro? You know, yeah, he was, he was the lost, it was lost and found Shamar, dog. I used to joke with him all the time. You come in there, and I'd be like, dude, you just got that out the box, right? In the, in the other locker room, like you just grab that out the box, like you grab that and put that on. Like, no, nah, Rob, these my sweats from this and that. These my sweat. Because he's played in like 20 different teams. So he has random stuff from like 20 different squads he's played for in the last like six years. Because everybody's like, oh, you can hoop, play for us. You can hoop. So he's got the craziest T-shirts that like you've ever seen in sweats and, and, and tights and everything that has to do with all these different teams he played on. Man, shout, shout, out, to, shout out to Shamar. Shout out to Shamar Morris. Yeah, I, I, I love Shamar, man. I hope things are going well with him. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Coach, now now we're going 